Who's shooting Jenna? I had to see you again to be sure. Sure of what? Like I said, I'm not a stupid man. I know your heart belongs to someone else, that you went to Corfu to be with him. But you're back. And there can only be one reason. He rejected you. <laughs> the man's a fool. He's lost his mind again. Marry me freely and give me the chance to make you love me as much as you loved him. Damn it. <sighs> I found another air vent. It turns out it only leads around the corner. All the rest have been blocked. Mother and the ape took you to see Sam. Oh, you know a lot about what goes on around here. I know my mother. Shoot. What? I'm missing an earring. Um, you know, I might not want to marry for money, but I never said there was anything No, no, wrong no, no, no. Just it. leave if that I'm there. Using it to work the cuffs. Very clever. Just give What's me the, the plan. Give me the piece of metal. Uh huh. You and I are simply going to have to find a way to work together. Okay. Excellent. Please, no, I, you know, I can't, not really. This music isn't for dancing. It's for making love. Just give me the piece of metal. You intend to leave me behind. This is you? your fight, you not ours. You don't understand. The man I love is hiding in Greece. He's wanted. I need to get to him. I'm not taking you. And then it looks like you'll stay attached to the wall. I want to make love to you while someone else is in your heart. But he's gone. That's what's so different about you. You no longer carry contempt in your eyes. Really, I thought that we were going to wait until the honeymoon. <laughs> Honeymoon is for children. We're adults. It's about time we started acting like it. What, what is this, some, some kind of come on? What happened to the supposed love of your life? I will stoop to almost any level to get off this island without having to marry my mother's hand-picked son-in-law. Help me get out of here and I will give you anything you want. Away from me. There's no reason restraining ourselves. <laughs> Ali, you bit my lip. You get those lips near me again, and I swear I will bite them off. <sighs> Come bite me again, my heathen princess. Nothing excites me like the call of the wild. You've got nothing I want. That's right. <laughs> You're in love with Sam, wasn't it? She's obviously more cooperative than I am, considering my mother intends to marry her off to Andrew in my place. You know what I need? I need information. How much of this island is bordered by beaches? Are there cliffs? Are there woods? How much is the perimeter actually patrolled by guards? That's what I need! Now, why should I tell you anything? So you and Sam can escape and leave me to deal with my mother? We're getting off this island together, or you're not leaving at all. Suit yourself. You need to change your attitude. <laughs> After all, I've got the only thing you can use as a key. No animal passion until the wedding night, please. You don't have to guard your virtue any longer, Ali. Vittorio has sadly debauched you. You bit my lip because you want me, and I assure you the feeling is mutual. Andrew, what are you doing? You save something for the wedding night. You're interrupting me. Well, not a moment too soon. My daughter and I have wedding plans to discuss. If you'll excuse us, please. <laughs> Clearly, I have no choice. Until our wedding. You are no grieving mother. You are either a manipulative con artist or a cold-hearted reptile. Which is it? And don't try to lie to me because I've had a lifetime of experience with both. Poor thing. You must have been devastated. Oh, come on. Sit. Please, do not act sympathetic. I hate when heartless monsters pretend to feel. I'm not pretending. I know all about con artists. And I know all about callous, 
unfeeling mothers. You probably neglected Allie when she was alive, and it's obvious you could not care less that she's dead. All right, it's true. I'm not a grieving mother. My daughter Alicia is still alive. Get me out of these cuffs. After we negotiate. If you supply the muscle to fend off Dante and his crew, then I will help you and your girlfriend Sam get off I the island. I can get away from here without you. The way it works is you're supposed to agree to help me and then double-cross me, but the fact that you didn't makes me think that I could actually trust well, you. Well, you know what? I don't want your trust. I don't want anything from you. I don't want you slowing us down. And what makes you assume I would? Because you don't have the guts to stand up to your own mother. My Elisa is particularly vulnerable. I made the mistake of overprotecting her, and now she is completely incapable of fending for herself. Well, then why don't you just let her marry the man she loves? Because Vittorio is a spineless weakling, not to mention parasitically poor. He intends to use and discard poor Alicia, and she is too naive to realize it. So you're trying to protect her in your own slightly demented way? Look, you were not fortunate enough to have a devoted mother, but think for a minute for the kind of mother you would like to become. Wouldn't you do everything possible to assure a future for the daughter that you dearly love? That's all I'm trying to do for Alicia. I'm trying to shield her from life's harsher realities by marrying her to Andrew for a couple of days. And a couple of nights. I know you've led a difficult life. Which is why you know the pitfalls for an innocent girl. If you could just find it in your heart to consummate this marriage, you and my daughter will be set for life. Want me to sleep with Andrew? Who thinks he's sleeping with Allie? And then we're all gonna split this divorce settlement? I'm not well. I don't have long to live. And I can't bear the thought of leaving Alicia adrift and alone. Won't you at least consider my proposal? Okay. But first, you've got to do something for me. I promise to name my first child after you. Yeah, don't bother. Jason, if it's a boy, and Azure, if it's a girl. Whatever. Because of your eyes. They are a remarkable shade of blue. Time to go. Thank God you're all right. I've been so worried. Okay, listen to me. There's a letter opener in the desk upstairs. I want you to grab it, hold it to Allegra's neck, and get her down here. And then what? I'll get us out of this hellhole. Did you enjoy your visit with your girlfriend? Yeah, I did, and we're getting out of here. How are you going to manage that? Well, first Sam will handle your mother. <laughs> I hate to disillusion you, but nobody handles my mother. We will. My mother is manipulative, not to mention lethal. You have just sent your girlfriend into the fangs of a snake. I'm returning your necklace, and I brought you some things to wear. Oh, elegant clothing and accessories, jewelry, makeup. These are all a woman's greatest weapons. Would you like my necklace back, please? Oh, Thank of you. course. Why don't you try some of these on before you put your necklace back on? I have one here that was Alicia's favorite. I think it would look lovely on you. That is beautiful. I like it. You have no idea what she's like, Jason. My own mother locked me in a cellar without even a hairbrush or a change of clothes. There are disgusting things there that crawl around down here. There are crazier people than your here, mother. But not more desperate. My mother wants Andrew's money so badly she will do anything to get it. She's an amazing liar. 
Okay, that's right. Sam is the smartest woman in the world, and you know I'm everything. I'm not going to stand here and argue with Do you. Do you listen to anyone? My mother has a gift for spotting weakness. She will find Sam's, zero in on it, take what she wants, and use it against her. Go ahead. Stick the blade through my heart. But before you do, will you promise me one thing? Promise me that you'll protect my darling Alicia. How do I get to the harbor? How am I supposed to know where my mother... You know where she hit the boat. Just tell me. You are nuts if you think Sam is going to pull one over on my mother. Uh, okay, okay. I get it. Just quit whining. How's Sam's relationship with her mother? Sam's mother's dead. That's my mother's specialty. She knows how to play act at motherhood a whole lot better than the real thing. How far will your mother go to get her way? You want to know if she'll kill Sam? When someone takes my mother off, she doesn't just stop asking them to dinner. They pretty much disappear. I'm so ashamed it's come to this. I was raised with nothing but the best in life. I was so fortunate when others had so little. And there was one thing my mother always drummed into my head. Protect the family. Protect our name at all costs. Oh, I doubt she ever imagined I'd be kidnapping innocent lovers and threatening them. But Sam, what else could I do? My father always figured the next grift would be the one to save him. You want it so bad, it twists you all up inside. My poor Alicia. And all she ever wanted was a, a sweet man to love her. Because God knows she never got any love from me. But my obsession with money stole that happiness from her. You know, you know it's not too late. If I could just find some way out of all this mess. But I'm already so deeply in it. The wedding preparations are made. Well, there's only one way out for me that I can see. If you go ahead, no, do what please. you came here to do. Take away my pain and leave here with Jason. Get out while you can. You have a cell phone? My mother took it. All the estate phones are hidden. There is one in the banister in the parlor. Could be Sam. No, no, no. Or your mom. Hide. How are you, Jason? Where's Sam? You'll see her soon. We had a lovely talk. She's such a sweet girl. So sensitive. If she's hurt in any way... Now, why I... would I do that? Actually, Sam's opened my eyes. She made me see what a mess I've made of things. But I promised her, and I promise you now, you will not come to harm. No, I, w I want proof that Sam's alive. I could never kill Sam. Nor she me, as it turns out. We understand each other from the heart. But you're afraid for Sam, and I can understand that. Ever since her mother died, she's been yearning for a woman that she could feel a close connection to. And I feel as if I've found the daughter I was always meant to have. Sam could spot your con a mile away. <laughs> what con? The maternal angle. It's your specialty. Your own daughter filled me in. You know, the one you locked in the cellar? I want to see Sam. Right now. Did they hurt you? You. What are you looking for? Allie didn't lie. Listen for Dante. Good evening. May I help you? Yes, yes. I, I need to dial the number in New York. Of course, sir. Your access word? What, access word? 
money. I'll need the correct access word to make your call, sir. Allegra's got this place locked down. What, what happened? What happened to the plan? I think it's going to be a whole lot easier just to do what she wants. What do you mean, do what she wants? She was in tears. Okay, she totally gets how nuts this plan of hers is. She's looking for a way out. I do not think that our lives are in danger here. And if she wasn't in such a panic, she would have freed us on the spot. We just need a little bit do more you, time right now. Do you believe her? Yeah. Do you trust her? No. No, Jason, but she is in a lot of pain, okay? And she realizes what she's done to her daughter, and it, I mean, she kind of reminds me of my own mother. But Allegra is a lot of things, and she's got a lot of problems, but a killer is not one of them. She is not a killer. All you had to do was wait quietly in your little room. You chose to make trouble, as usual. Well, you know how easily bored I am, Mother. Yes, when you're not wasting money or sleeping around. I learn from the best. Whatever little scheme you and Jason cooked up, it's beside the point now. Did you do something to him? Don't be ridiculous. Jason is far too valuable to get rid of now. It's no wonder Sam loves him. Have you twisted her arm yet? Sam is a dear, sweet girl. A charming surprise, actually. Now, it would seem that there's only one person on this island who no longer serves a purpose. And that's you. <laughs>